Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna share with you my bad experience in using Mi Pad 5 for photo editing. Of course, one of the reasons I bought this Mi Pad was for photo and video editing. Just for your information, I haven't edited any videos on this Mi Pad 5 yet, and I'm looking forward to doing it very soon. Just last month, I went on a family trip with my new uh, Sony camera, and I took a bunch of photos. So I brought along my Mi Pad so that I could edit uh, the photos on the go. But what was so sad was the result out of this Mi Pad 5 looks terrible. You can check all of these uh, photo samples. As you can see, all of the photos here are very desaturated. I didn't realize about this issue until I posted some photos on social media and I used my iPhone to view them. They looked terrible and at that time I thought uh, there was something wrong with my Mi Pad or with the Mi Pad itself. I was very disappointed because if it happens like this, how can I make use of the Mi Pad in a photo and video editing? But later on I found what exactly the problem was. Then I could fix it. Now they look all like this. Okay, so the problem is actually because of the screen and the colors that you choose uh, in the setting of this Mi Pad. So if you go to the setting, and the next one is to scroll on the left here, go to display and color scheme. Check that. So by default, the uh, color should be vivid and it is, as you can see, it is uh, recommended. So it looks natural, it looks beautiful on the Mi Pad. So when I edit the photo, everything looks very, very saturated. That is why the problem is that I try to decrease the saturation and the vibrance so that the color of the subject or the uh, landscape or the view is as natural as possible. Yeah, that is vivid color. However, when you change the color scheme, to standard look at the icons over here yeah the icon seems to be less saturated they they don't look beautiful in here and then when you go to the lightroom again look at this photo so this photo looks very desaturated very i say very because it looks uh, unnatural it's too pale in here all you have to do is to increase increase the, the saturation but again come back so the difference is the color so what is the color that you should choose when you edit a photo so when you edit a photo remember the color that you use is uh, the standard one okay if not if you select uh, vivid you're gonna have the same issue when you post uh, your photos on social media because other devices will see all your photos look really paid So in conclusion for gaming or for other contents you can use Vivid However for video or photo editing, please go with standard color. Okay guys So that is a very simple trick. Yeah, it's just to let you know when you encounter this problem. I was very disappointed at first when I so my photos were all desaturated on uh, different devices. Okay, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Hit subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. See ya.